Welcome back to Meds Made Easy. My name is Tarun Verma. Today we're going to talk about diazepam, also known as Valium. Uh, this one is an interesting benzodiazepine because it does a lot more things that are FDA approved. So it's FDA approved for acute alcohol withdrawal, uh, anxiety, uh, muscle spasms, seizures, and no, that's it. Yeah, so it does a lot more. So it has that like muscle component to it for muscle injuries and things like that. You generally don't see other benzodiazepines used for like after car accidents, things like that, or workplace injuries, but you do see diazepam too. Uh, let's see here, you dose it about two to four times a day. I'm not gonna go over the dosing uh, types. It usually only comes at five and 10 milligrams, but take it two to four times a day, depending on what it's for and what your diagnosis is. Um, generally kicks in in about anywhere between 15 minutes to two hours. It's just very variable in how it works in your body like that. It is very long acting. Um, which is why it stays in your system a long time. Um, if it goes through, you make sure that you let your doctor know about all the medications you're on because if it goes through your liver, um, then, then you, you should know because you don't want to tax your liver with too many medications. Um, it's pregnancy class D, so it's teratogenic, meaning it will affect the fetus in a negative way uh, and its development, so we don't want that at all. Um, However, in breast milk, it is relatively safe under a certain percentage, something called, a, the concept called a RID, relative infant dose. So your doctor should be testing your breast milk to make sure that there's not too much diazepam getting in it, because essentially that's just gonna go to the baby, and too much diazepam to the baby is not a good thing. It's gonna stunt their development and their growth. We don't want that either. But under a certain amount is medically safe uh, to take. Uh, let's see here, what else? Oh, it's got a black box warning with opioids. Uh, I talk about this a lot in other videos, but you cannot stack like opioids with this medication. It causes a lot of problems. It causes severe, um, they call it profound sedation and respiratory depression, meaning it'll really affect your breathing and make it lower and lower and lower. And so we don't want that because if you don't breathe enough, you will die, right? So that's kind of how that works. Also at the same time, do not use this as a party drug right don't don't take opioids and then drink or smoke or whatever and then take this as well uh, just kind of as a caution warning a lot of what we see in practice is a lot of people pass out in the middle of the night after a night of partying and then they never wake up because they choked and died on their own vomit so things like that like you don't want that so just avoid it avoid that for this purposes don't mix it with um, opioids because it does cause serious serious side effects um, beyond that here's a list of side effects for the medication again not too bad but it is a very, it's a pretty potent medication um, and so you don't want to be on this too long there's an addiction and, and dependence issue with this medication so you need to go back to your doctor and always kind of get it reevaluated and go hey can I kind of be weaning off of this and if you do wean off of it you have to taper off right you have to wean you can't just quit cold turkey because then the side effect profile is really really terrible on you um, there are horror stories, right? And so watch out for that. And then otherwise, I think that kind of covers it. Yeah, I think that kind of covers it, guys. So leave some comments down below, any questions you might have. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let us know how we're doing. We're just trying to do good with these videos. We're trying to be as informative as possible. And if uh, you have one that you want us to make, let us know. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. Bye.